I have something I'm so excited to share coming up for the new year. It's the New Year's Writing Goals Workshop. This is going to be three days of journaling, reflecting on our past achievements and applying them to what we want to accomplish with our books, with our writing goals, no matter what they are in 2024. So this is something that you can really personalize to where you want to go in your life in the next year. And we're going to do it together with some of the most powerful journaling reflection questions that I've used in order to navigate the goals that I've accomplished. And we're going to do it together because I have a, a 2024 goal I'm really excited about too, and I can't wait to share this process. So I know we're being pulled around a little bit right now in the holiday season. And so in order to get ready, I wanted to do something that's just going to take a few minutes in order to prepare. And that's Choose the most fulfilling goal for 2024. So I have a decision exercise right here. If at any time in the next week of Christmas, you can give yourself the gift to just sit down and do this journaling, then you're going to be completely ready to get your goals down for 2024. And by the way, I already have the workbook, the New Year's Goals workbook right below. So if you are not already getting my emails and I didn't send it to your inbox, go ahead and sign up right below. You'll get all of the workshop and reflection questions that we're going to do together in uh, in it's December 29th, 30th, and 31st, getting ready for New Year's. And so I'll be putting out videos that give an explanation for those journaling questions. So if you take it day by day, starting here. So this is the choose your goal. And I know this is something that we all come up against where it's really hard to decide. I don't know what my next right move is. What's the direction I should go? We feel overwhelmed. You know, I want this to happen in my life, but I'm not clear on the next steps to take. So this is our prep work that we're gonna do for the workshop. And so I'm gonna take you through this. First, in order to get everything out of your head and onto the page, I want you to brainstorm and just put any possible goal that you could think of. All of the things that are pushing and pulling, you know, our multi-passionate brains, just put them all on paper. What is everything you could possibly achieve in the next year? What are all of your possible goals? Next, I think it would be wonderful if you can narrow that down to one writing goal, and then maybe you have a personal goal or a financial goal. More than three goals is probably going to be cumbersome, but I want you to just circle on that entire page which goals are most emotionally compelling? Which do you want the most? Just circle them on the page. Next, I want to go deeper into why are they emotional and to get clear on this. So why is this emotional? Why do you think it will change your life, et cetera? And do some journaling on this. So there's a, a question in some space to do the journaling. And so one place that I think we can get overwhelmed is there are a lot of things we should do or that someone else wants us to do, and they might not be what we want. And so we don't know which to choose. And so I want, if we do the, if we follow the life we should live, then we're never going to get the life we want. If we keep on going towards the shoulds, we're never going to get to the want. So that's one place to overcome overwhelm is stop thinking about what you should do and really go towards what you want. And let me get, let's go a little deeper with this because let's say I've had times in my life where what I wanted was financial certainty. What I wanted was to, you know, set down the foundations of my business or switch jobs, et cetera. And so it is a should, I should know you know, what my finances are, but it was also my deepest want. I knew everything else would be easier if I took care of my finances or something first. So 
that counts as a want. If that's what you need to focus on, then put that down. If that is your most compelling want. And yet, if we cling too much to what's certain and it's starting to get to the place where, yeah, I have my feet underneath me, I'm pretty stable. Then if we keep clinging to what's certain, like, well, I I need a, a larger margin or, you know, my parents think I should do this or my spouse thinks I should do this. If we cling too much to what is certain, we let go of what is possible. And so if you're, if it's not so much getting your feet underneath you, which I know there are people in our community as I have been, there are always times we go through that, but if it's a time where you can start to reach for what your, your dream goals, your writing goals, your author goals, where really all it co costs is taking some time to yourself and regularly working on the book. If we cling too much to what is certain, we let go of what is possible. We never find out what is possible. And so if that's what you want, start to connect with that courage. If it's writing a book, then writing is the first thing you need to do. It doesn't cost a thing, but some time. So that's the question. Why are they so emotional? And I'd love for you to just kind of sort out your insides and do some reflection on that. Now, the next question, we're on number four, step four, is why will this change your identity? This is a powerful question because it's what makes a, a goal so compelling. I am, I'll go for my life. I am a teacher, but I want to be an author. There was a time where I was a full-time school teacher and I wanted to be an author. I am this and I want to be this. And so whatever that is, a business owner, you know, whatever creative goals you have, how will it change your identity? And also journal on that. Why? This is going to help you get clarity. What is the identity goal that you really want to go after? Then next, how will your life look in one year if you go after this in 2024 and feel it? Make sure it's something that gets you excited for all of the reasons that you first, you know, started to sketch out in, uh, in question three. Why is this so emotional? Now let's take it all the way through and really visualize if I accomplish this goal in 2024, when I'm doing my journaling in 2025, what is my life going to look like? So that is the exercise I want us to do to get ready for this exciting workshop I have coming up at the end of December to get ready for New Year's. So this is so much fun for me to host. Thank you for being a part of it. Give me a like and a subscribe. And of course, I'll send that workbook right your way as soon as you sign up for the workshop in the link below. So much love. Talk soon.